Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Sue. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WebGPU graphics programming. In last video, we discussed how to map an image texture onto the surface of a 3D cube. In this video, I will explain how to use the texture framework created in the texture.ts file to create a 3D sphere with texture. In order to create a texture, I have added nine images to the DRST slash assets folder as we did in the last uh, video. These images have the same size 512 by 512 uh, pixel and the same PNG format. You can see the nine images here we are going to use. Now let's consider the texture coordinates for our sphere. We start a center point here of the image that corresponding to this red dot and then uh, spread to both sides of U and V direction. This will cover sphere surface. So this is U and this is V. The texture coordinates at this point is U equal to 0, this point U equal to 1. And this point corresponds the, to the V equal to 0. And here corresponds to V equal to 1. In this spheric uh, coordinate system, this center point in the texture coordinate system corresponding to uh, this point here is uh, x equal to 0, y equal to 0, z equal to r. r here is the radius of our sphere. For any point p here, we can describe it use these equations with two angles theta and phi. Here phi is defined on the x z plane start from z axis here this is phi theta here is start from uh, x z plane this is theta so theta here can change from minus half pi to uh, positive half pi phi can change from minus pi to positive pi here now we want to map text uh, coordinates u and v to this theta and phi. Use these relations. For example, we define u equals pi plus phi divided by 2 pi. If phi change from minus pi to pi, the u will change from 0 to 1. We define v equal to half pi plus theta divided by pi. If theta change from minus half pi to half pi, the v will change from 0 to 1. Therefore, the u and v, just the texture coordinate we want. Now, our task is to find out the theta and phi. From this relation, you can see v equal to r sine theta. So, R over over R equal to sine theta. So theta equal to arc sine of y over R. You can see from these two relations, we can find x over z equal to tan to phi. Phi equal to arc tan x over z. In order to describe this angle phi correctly in four quadrants, we need to change arc tan here to arc tan 2. Here has x over r, z over r, because you can in this case you have two input x and z separately, so we can describe the four quadrants the value correctly. So now we can substitute the theta and phi into this equation. Then we can get the final texture coordinates like this. So u equal to 0.5 plus arctangent here, and v equal to point this arc sine divided by pi. So here is our texture coordinates for our sphere. 
here we will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the last uh, video. Here is the download link and Git Harbor repository. From this link, you can download all the source code used in the last uh, video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command git clone paste this link. This will generate a WebGPU 34 folder on your local machine. Now we will change this folder name to GPU 35, rename 35, and CD into it. At this point, we are going to start a Visual Studio code with the command code period. This is Visual Studio code interface. Okay, we can close this welcome page. Here contains all the source code used in the last uh, video. Now open a new terminal window and run the command npm install to restore all the npm package used in this example. OK, finished. Now all the installed package are stored in the node modules folder. Now we need to generate the texture coordinates for our sphere from src folder. Open the vertex data.ts file and found the sphere data function. Uh, here we will use two variables, ul and vl, to set the upper limit of the texture coordinates, as mentioned previously. So we use ul and vl as input argument here. ul equal to 1 and v, uh, vl equal to 1 with the default uh, value of 1. We then need to define several new variables that will be used in create our UV data. We put some parameter here. Here we define u0, u1, u2, u3, and v0, and v3 here. And also define UV uh, array to hold our UV data. After this normal data, we need uh, to add the UV data here. This is our UV data. You can see U0, U1, because we have a unit cell, the four vertices, so U0. This one is U coordinate, this is the V coordinates. We have four V and four U for a unit cell. You can see we have a 0, 0.0 plus arctanate 2. So this text uh, formula we just discussed here is sine or arc sine. So for the V coordinates. So here we put this UV coordinate into the UV array. So finally, we need to return this UV data. Copy this and change this to the UV data. UV and here also UV. We finished the modification to this file. So now we can see this file and uh, close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the index.html file. From dist folder, open this file. First, we need to change this 34 to 35 because this is the 35th uh, video. Uh, also, we need to change the cube with the texture to sphere with the texture. Our other parameter here are identical to that used in last uh, video, except here the option we want to use Earth, the default uh, image. use the earth instead of a brick. So now we can save this file. Next, we want to make some changes to the main.ts file. From SRC folder, open main.ts file. 
uh, we need to replace uh, this code with a new code first here we introduce create a shape with a texture from texture.ts file and then introduce the sphere data from vertex data.ts file inside this create a shape function here we first call sphere data the function to create a vertex data including the position and normal vector and the uv data we then call create shape with a texture a function to create our textured sphere uh, this part of the code define the default input parameter you can see here the texture image file we use earth.png file and we define address mode for u and v direction to the claim to edge of course you can use other options for example repeat or mirror repeat as address mode here you can see we define ul equal to 1 vl equal to 1 as a default value we then call create a shape function to create our textured sphere with the default input parameters the rest code here allow you to regenerate the textured uh, sphere with user input parameters so you can change by uh, change the parameter by user now we finished the modification to the main.ts file so we can see this file up to now we have finished all the programming now we can run the following command on terminal window to bind our TypeScript code in production mode. npm run prod to bind our TypeScript code. Okay, the bound file is created uh, successfully. Now we can click the go live link from the status bar area to open Chrome Canary to view our sphere click this go live link here is our textured sphere with the default lighting and the texture displayed on this page from this drop down menu we can change different image for example brick and grass Grand Canyon Jiu Marble, New York City, Wood, Yellowstone, and let's go back to the default Earth. You can also play around with the U lens and V lens here. I will not discuss here, you can play with it. Now we have completed this example. Most of the examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com, you can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this uh, video series. I also create a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.